Welcome to Visual Optics, our quick introduction to optics with focus on optical constants and thin films and their technical applications. The course has three parts. The main part is about self-teaching, where you can find a lot of material showing you the basics of optical constants and thin film properties. There is a collection of predefined presentations that you can use to teach those things to others. And there's a collection of graphs and animations that you can use in, in lectures at universities, for example. Why did we make this course? Well, we found that we have many customers who are going to work with our software in order to optimize or develop technical coatings. And usually they don't have too much time to read long books about thin film optics. So we made this course in order to give them an intuitive and interactive access to the optical properties of thin films and optical constants. And our idea is that you can learn the basic relations and develop a feeling for, for these things um, in a few hours or let's say in a few days. Let's take a quick tour uh, through the self-teaching part of visual optics. It starts with a section about optical constants and wave propagations. Here you learn, uh, let's say, what it means for a material to have certain optical constants. Uh, you, you can see in many interactive examples what happens, for example, to the light propagation if we change the absorption current of the optical constants. Of course, you learn what optical constants are first. Here's the real part of the refractive index that you can see what kind of influence it has on the propagation speed and the wavelengths in the material. And those interactive pages are very uh, frequently used in the software to teach you intuitively how the relations are. Uh, we will give you an overview on optical constants where you see what it means for a material to have interband transitions because interband transitions are important. They determine the properties in the visible and the infrared and of course in the UV also. You will learn about vibrational modes in the, in the infrared here, how they are connected to the optical properties and also about uh, the properties of free charge carriers that are important for metallic materials. You will learn how the presence of these charge carriers influence the optical constants and this way you will get a feeling of what it means for a material to be a metal or a semiconductor or an insulator. Typical materials are discussed, so you will, you will see how a TCO looks like, how a silver looks like, how glass looks like, and so on. This way you, can, you are prepared to understand what happens at interfaces when light approaches the uh, connection between two materials. And here you can also see what happens uh, in a kind of life picture. You see the incident wave here, that's the interface. You see the reflected wave. <clears throat> and instead of a static picture in a book, you get a live picture and you can change the refractive index and see what changes to the reflection and the transmission. So you, you can instantly try out what happens. And this is much more fun and it's also quicker than reading a lot. Here's another example uh, for the difference to a static book. These are the intensity reflection coefficients at an interface for S-polarization and P-polarization. And instead of having just a static picture, you can change the refractive index and see how these curve change changes. 
so it's we can cover a lot of examples on just one page. Basically, you <coughs> can do all the examples. The same holds for the laws of reflection and uh, refraction, where you can just change the angles and see how the reflected light goes, or where the reflected light goes and where the transmitted beam goes. You can change the refractive index values and see how that influences the propagation direct directions. So and you can quickly learn this way how light waves travel through materials. Once you have that, you can go to thin film optics and see how waves propagate through thin films. This is just a single uh, thin film layer where you can change the, the thickness. Again, you can change the refractive index values and, and see how a metallic layer would, would work, how a transparent layer would work of an oxide or a nitride. And this is all very easy to understand. If you have a single layer on glass, that's a very common uh, exercise for people doing research for thin film coatings in order to find optical constants. You can change the refractive index and instantly see how the transmission spectrum and the reflection spectrum changes. This is the visible spectral range. Here you can see the color of the transmitted spectrum, the color of the reflectance spectrum. You can change the thickness and see how the colors change. And this is very nice to play with. Here's an advanced example, a double layer, like, it, like they are used for optical filters. So you have a sequence of low and high refractive index values. You can change the thickness and you can see what is what it means to be a Bragg reflector. And again here it gives you a lot of numbers to, to play and a lot of nice results. So you can learn how it all works. You can even change the number of double layers interactively here in order to see how optical filters are made. Finally, let's go to some a typical technical application. Coatings for architectural buildings, for example. Here we have uh, a large series of examples and this is just one for a low emission coating. Of course, during the course you learn what that is. Here you, we, I just show you how you can play. These are layer thicknesses of, of, of the coating. And here you see the optical spectra, the reflection, the transmission. And you can see how the thickness, how a thickness change influences the spectra. And you can even see how an office building with this coating would look like. You click here and this is the, the building how it would look like if you would use those layer thicknesses. You can try to make a, a red building using different thicknesses like this one here for example that should be red and yes it is. So you can be a designer in this course which is a lot of fun. I hope this gives you a short impression on what you can do in this course and what you, what you can get. And well, we hope that you will have a lot of fun with visual optics. Thank you for listening.